Alrighty, welcome back. Well, what we got here is actually an older build. Uh, this is a build that I actually done, shoot, maybe three years ago, maybe. This was the 21446 build I ever done. And the story behind this neat little box here is, is there was a fella that, uh, one of the first people I ever met around my local area here, uh, named 073 Breeze, and, uh, he owned the Fat Boy 21446 box, and I mean, I sat and listened to this kind of figure here talk over base stations running 800,000 watts, you know, just running, you know, glass boxes, man, and, and just talking over them, straight through them with just a little 2 pill 1446 box. Now, I mean, it blew my mind so far to the point when I started building. I think this might have been about the fourth or fifth box I ever did. I asked him, can I clone that box? I'm talking about, I want to clone it down to the T, man. Every little bitty, you know, connection. I want to clone it, man. This is something magical about that box. Let me see if I can clone it. And, uh... <laughs> You know, it's not that different of a build of mine that I do now, the 1446 style, but believe it or not, it's a mean box, a mean box. It's one of the, it's, it's the highest output 1446 box I have seen yet. It's, it's funny how it turned out that way, you know, but, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, so it went to a buddy of mine and he put this fan in here. It didn't have this fan in there. It don't have a grill on it, but he put it in there, you know, it helps out a lot. I think I got it back from him. Uh, uh, helped out a new new buddy out here getting into it, and he's been running it for a while, and's finally upgrading to a four banger. Which what, what you see right there, a little four banger. It's gonna be the driver for that bad boy right there. So uh, to do that, I actually had to back down this box pretty good bit. You know, it's of course two fourteen forty six is way too much drive for a four, four transistor amplifier, but uh. So the way I had to do that, it's got a 20 ohm resistor in line with the RF, so that's backing it down internally. And I had to throw a 250 ohm variable. So that's a 250 ohm variable. I'll show you how mean this box is. Even with a 20 ohm resistor inside of it, and a 250 ohm variable, it does close to what that AB bias one does, turned all the way down. And that, that's with 250, 250 plus 20 ohms of resistance. That's 270 ohms of resistance. That's a mean one. You know, some of them turn out that way. You other builders know what I'm talking about. So here we go. Output test. We got the 250 ohm variable turned all the way down. Probably had to end up putting a 25 watt variable in there. I'm sure he's going to blow it. I think when he uses, uses this as the driver, he's going to be running about halfway. So I don't know. It might... It might stay in there. Them 250s tend to blow a lot, and people use them to turn on them down for these purposes. All righty. All the way down. Hello, test, 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 audio, audio, test, 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 test. As you can see, that SWR is out the roof. <laughs> Like I said, this is one of my earlier builds, you know, so it probably isn't tuned the way it should be, obviously, as you can see, but, eh, I might have to get it. I might get in there and fine-tune it for the fella before I give it back to him. I think that's what I'll do, but anyway. Hello, test, test, test. Look at that. All the way down, 130 watts. Good God the money. Whew. I don't know, man. He might not be able to use this as a driver. <laughs> Oh God, I don't know what we're going to do about this. I thought I had that thing turned down to where it's doing lower than that, but obviously I don't. We'll figure things out. Might just kind of talk them into doing a 114.46 driver. All right, this is all the way, uh, let's see, halfway, halfway. The audio, test, 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 audio. Look at the SWR came down a little bit. Audio, test, 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 audio, test. 250. 250 all the way up now like I said with it turned all the way up it's still got 20 ohm of resistance inside on it 
Hello, test, 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 audio. Didn't do too much to it, but audio, test, 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 audio. All right, it looks like it's cruising about the same as the AB. It wouldn't be if that 20 ohm wasn't in there. I think it was doing something about 320, 320, 330 all the way up with that, uh, without that 20 ohm in there. So I was trying to back it down, but I'm thinking I'm. If if he if the fellow uses this bad boy right here, I'm gonna have to probably take that 20 out and put a 47 on in there. I think that'll probably back her down good enough. 